Last night, I stayed up so late editing this video. Well, yesterday's video. I didn't go to sleep till about 2:30 a.m. And you know, I, and, and which is okay, whatever. The most frustrating thing: I woke up this morning at like 7 a.m. to get ready to go to work, and I got an email saying that my uh, my music was muted uh, due to copyright stuff. So it's just frustrating, man, because now I had to wake up early and go in there and try to try to change some things that way to work and whatnot. And I don't like doing that, but. Today's goal is to partially break down my desk, kind of get things moving over, like all these like random clutter stuff that's on the floor. They kind of gotta go. So I'm, what I'm doing right now is kind of organizing them right over here. There's a uh, kind of I don't want to say a blizzard, not a blizzard, but like a snowstorm headed our way. It's it's gonna hit what day? Okay, tomorrow? Friday? Either way, it's gonna be snowing pretty much all weekend. Does, I mean, it kind of sucks. Not, it doesn't really suck. It's not gonna stop me. It's gonna slow us down, but it's not gonna stop me. You kind of want to like get as much things there before that. So, kind of gonna crunch. Lots of cleaning. I don't know if it's gonna be fun for you guys to watch. I'm gonna include it anyways. We'll see what happens. take apart my desk I start to think about how I'm gonna put it back together in the new house um, so what I want to ask you guys is how should I set up my desk at the new place I have about a 10 foot by 12 foot second bedroom um, but I'm looking for ideas you know I've been looking at Pinterest looking at the uh, Swashin YouTube channel that has like a whole bunch of desk setups and whatnot um, I'm trying to get ideas and I want to create something nice I really like the rustic um, desk with a glass tabletop, uh, maybe some lighting, some nice cable management of course, and just a really nice setup. And in case you guys are wondering if I am doing anything with the Datsun, I have been going over the wire schematics. You get to tell here, right? This is the wiring diagram to my entire car, from the front to the back, every single connection. I have pages of this stuff, right? So this is part of the FSM. Uh, so I've been looking at that, reviewing that on my downtime, and just making sure I know everything before I dive into the car. So that's just, just in case you guys are wondering.